So the next one is the circular pattern. So we're going to work on the circular pattern. So they want you to model this, this flange plate. Okay, so here is your dimensions, and you can see that just from the dimensions we have a uh, axis of rotation here. They want us to use the revolve command. So we're going to go in, we're going to set this up real quick. Um, so we'll go into our inventor, start 2D sketch, go ahead and pick us a plane. All right, I like to have my axis of rotation be on the origin. So I'm going to go ahead and draw me a line and then click the line and then right click and say construction and then that's going to be my axis of rotation all right so then I'm going to come up and then I'm going to draw an L shape and again I'm going to attach that to the Y axis because it just keeps things simple and then I'll draw the basic shape of that flange and then I start adding dimensions so this is half and we are 0.375. Notice that this is not halved. This is saying this is 0.375 from the axis of rotation. So I can go in here, and this is 0.5. And that's going to get really, really big because I drew that very small, 0.375, and that's going to get a little bit smaller. And then uh, axis rotation out is 2.5. So from here to here is 2.5. And from axis rotation to the top of the flange is 1, and then the height is also 1. So dimension this from here to here is 1 inch. And from here to here, oops, click the wrong area, try that again. There to there is also 1 inch. And if I look at that, yes. And then again, if I want that to um, be attached to the... Um, y-axis all I have to do is say you know what I want this to be vertical I want this point to be vertical with the origin and then it locks it in place and I don't need any dimensions except for the one that the axis rotation uh, the length and that doesn't really matter so here we'll go and we will revolve it okay so it automatically finds because I only have I made this a construction line it automatically finds my profile click on my axis and then I have my flange plate notice where we had the Axis rotation was lower than the start of the sketch, and that's why we have a hole in the middle. So I'm going to go here. Now we're going to make our holes, okay? So I'm going to make the hole command, which means I'm going to make a point. I'm going to make a sketch. I'm going to make a point. It needs to be 1.65 uh, from the center of the part. So I'm going to make a sketch. I'm going to draw, drop me a point on the y-axis. And then I'm going to say from here to here, 1.65. Notice I didn't have to draw any lines. I just dropped a point, and I said how far away it is. Done. So from there, then I can go to the hole, and this is supposed to be a 0.5. And then that is done. It goes all the way through. So now we patterned in the sketch before. Now we're going to pattern with a feature. All right, we're going to pattern a feature. So before we were patterning inside a sketch, now we notice that we're not in the sketch. So when we're here, here's the pattern. It's grayed out now because I'm not in the sketch. But here's the pattern for a sketch. We also have pattern for 3D models. So I'm going to do a circular pattern here. And I'm going to go ahead and, and it's going to say, select your features. You can come over here and click. I find it problematic. I don't like it. You can experiment with it. I think it's kind of buggy. All right, I like to go over here and say, you know what, the feature I want is my hole, and I click it in my browser. Then I say the axis of rotation, so I click that, and then this, <clears throat> I can click this side um, because this circle has an axis of rotation. So if you click the circle, it automatically finds the axis of rotation for you. So now I'm putting in six. I think I'm supposed to have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm supposed to have ten, so I'm going to go here and drop ten in there. Hit OK, and then boom, those are done. There we go. So that is that part. So very, very easy. We are um, pattering, pattering a whole feature.